In today's video, I'm going to give you guys one defensive strategy for every rank map in Rainbow Six Siege. If you're solo king and you have no plan of strategy for that map, you're basically taking it easy on your enemies. And you probably lose that game. So watch till the end, learn these strats, and higher up your chance of winning. Timestamps available so you can skip to any map you want. Alright, starting with our first strategy on map Oregon, you want to play Olibi. And it's better to play shotgun because you can make holes and rotates easier. With Bailiff, it just takes super long. Then you want to reinforce Attic Wall, make some peak holes on the right side, throw your all by Prisma right there. So attackers outside will get scared by this Prisma. Second one on this window, but throw it from the other side, so anyone coming up the staircase will just get scared. Make a rotate into Armory, some peak holes, also a rotate into Master and peak holes again. And third Prisma is going to be in Armory facing Master. So they either see a pixel of this Prisma, or when they come in, they will get scared and shoot the Prisma. Throw your proxy on the Armory stairs and on the Master door. Now it's better to play inside Armory and play right here on this spot, so you have cover from the window. You can hold anyone pushing into closet or into master in general. And I'm pretty sure your teammates will either play on these holes or play inside trophy. So imagine if there's an ace outside, he has to deal with this prisma, angles all the way to armory on the main stairs maybe someone's on the door and if you're getting super pressured you can just bring out your pistol and because you're three speed you can just run around like this and i'm pretty sure no one can shoot you because you're super fast until they want to like react and adjust their cross replacement you're just gone moving on to clubhouse when you're defending church arsenal you want to play castle come up the stairs castle of exit door throw your proxy on the left side then castle of this door reinforce these two walls on the stage castle this door right here and also pool table and make sure you're opening hatch then you want to make these holes from left side to right side so you have an angle all the way to kitchen kitchen window exit top of main stairs you can hold strip so no one like a sledge can just come close and get this barricade then goes for this barricade and you just want to contest kitchen area and bar area as long as you can and then drop the hatch this is for wasting time wasting utility you don't have to necessarily get a kill here or just like stay here forever attackers coming into freezer and then kitchen they are exposed to all these holes right here so they can just like pick the side if the hatch is open and if they want to like try to push down the main stairs they are exposed to all these holes so first they're gonna deal with you and then they can push down main stairs by the way you can prep this packet so in case you are getting pressured you can just like punch it and then get away okay next map we have cafe and you want to play mute you want to put one of your jammers inside of cigar box right here this will jam any drones until right here and then we have one jammer close right here. It won't get shot from the new hatch. That's the good thing. If you place a closed door, then it will get shot. Then we have another one right here on this wall. So this will get the wall on the left side. And the other one, as you guys see, gets the other side. So if anyone wants to open the wall, it gets jammed. And for your last jammer, you can actually place a new hatch or you can place it in bathroom or anywhere you want. Now, how do you want to play is that you want to play inside cigar box. You have some holes and if anyone drops, you can just instantly shotgun them from this range. Now, some people worry about the hatch. If you want to, you can reinforce it so you don't get naded from below. And you also have cover from the stage window. So you can just like play here. But now let me show you how it works actually. Okay, for Shelly, you want to play Olibi and then you want to come top floor. Throw one of your proxies in these bushes. You can also barricade this door if you want to. Now, a really good thing about Olibi is that you can put your Prismos on the West Vine windows and also Trophy window. Then make some holes. So anyone want to jump in Trophy, you can just like shoot them. You get info. Same goes for West Vine. And you have these holes on top floor. So if the guy wants to push up Garage, you can just easily get a kill on him. And if they want to go Trench, then you just come down West Vine stairs. Put pressure like this. And you have Proxy on the Trench door so when they push in you will know on bank you want to play legion from top floor into open area reinforce the hatch also that one and then reinforce this wall make some fit holes with your shotgun on the open area window and also electrical then by the time that you're doing all of this you have some goo mines so you can throw it on the door right here for example or one on the window then head top floor and barricade this door right here set up your goo mines all across the main lobby stairs and then what you want to do is open this hatch and also the janitor hatch and you can set up more goo mines on let's say electrical door right there on the staircase or skylight door now you can play in stock first of all shoot the windows for glasses so you can hear sound outside but you can hold anyone pushing into open area you can shoot the pallets on the hatch if they're trying to open you can make the attackers come upstairs for you and that's really good because you can waste more time you can go to top square again put pressure you can go to lobby put pressure on the vault hatches or elevator hatch on border you want to play a zombie again and the first kibo 
is right here on this wall. So, you know, usually players stay outside with Kali and they start shooting all the way to Armory and you just get wall bank. This will protect anyone outside. And you also have these holes on the left side. So you can deny the fan if they're planting on the door or on the window. Then you want to come to 90, make a hole right here into fountain and also rotate to CCTV. Reinforce these two walls next to each other. Make some pick holes to break room. And the second keyboard is actually right here. So you throw it low like this. And then you have a pixel angle like this. So you can headshot the guy on E stairs and you have cover. If you want to rotate, they can't really shoot you. Now, if they go outside break room door, and since you're playing by this box right here, you're exposed. So what you want to do is throw your kiba. Now you're not exposed anymore. Now, if they go on the window again, you're exposed. So what you want to do is just throw your kiba right here. So as you see, you're covered from the break room door and also the window. Now, why are we doing this? CCTV is super important. When the attackers want to open armory wall, they have to actually get close to the wall, get close to the door. Yes, they can open the wall, but if they want to get close, you have these feet holes so you can shoot their legs. Now, what if they switch side and they want to go office side? On console, you want to play Castle, and Castle is just a super OP operator and underrated as well. You want to castle off backside door right here, and you want to barricade this door as well. Then you come top floor and barricade this one. Open the hatch, make a big rotate, also rotate right here, and castle off this door, which is piano door, and reinforce the wall next to it. Now, technically, you should reinforce the hatch, but because you're solo, it just takes time, and we don't have time. We just want to, like, stay here, and then you want to open this wall right here from the hatch, so you can hold anyone pushing kitchen. You have some vertical holes to hold the breach, and you also have some holes to hold anyone pushing yellow. Put down your proxy on this window, closet window, so anyone jumps in, you will know. And for your last proxy, make a hole on the hatch and throw your proxy top there. So anyone going upstairs, you will know, so you would just, like, go back here and play from this side. On coastline, when you're defending hookah and billiards, you want to play mute, come into VIP, reinforce VIP walls, and put a jammer in the middle. Second one is going to be on the door, so they can't drone. If you place it on Hall of Fame, and uh, they can just see it from the outside. They can see both corners. And third one is going to be by bathroom door and uh, penthouse. And last one, you want to place it inside theater, by the theater door. You make some holes on the right side just to scare them off. Because right now, they can't drone. So they got to drop and just pick these holes, pick these angles. And they don't know what to expect. You also make some holes on the white stairs. And just make sure you're reinforcing 90. So in case you're playing 90 or you're playing on the theater door, you can just fall back without getting wall banged all the way from VIP. You can also make some pick holes in case they open the wall, you can challenge them. Okay, this one on Villa is kind of simple strategy, but effective. What you want to do is come to trophy side and master side, reinforce this wall right here so you don't get shot from the guy outside and you have an easier way to just like rotate. You want to also reinforce this uh, trophy wall so anyone on the astro window or anyone in astro can wall bang you. Even if you want to play wolf, you won't get shot. Then you want to make a rotate to astro so you can play here, waste some time. If they get close to bathroom, you can just like shoot this fire cannon if they want to go bricks again you can shoot this canister and the fires go for 20 seconds you can just like waste 20 seconds right here 20 seconds right there and then you can fall back if you are caught off from the wolf window or let's say bricks right there you can just like jump down now when the attackers take control of trophy and like statue and they want to push 90 you can again activate this one waste some time and if they want to go into site and try to plant you can just like shoot this canister without exposing yourself aruni is the operator you want to play on theme park first of all make a rotate into site and you can do this strat on any side basically if you're defending downstairs they're gonna push cafe if you're playing initiation again they're gonna push cafe so reinforce these two walls in the middle make some pickles on the right side a rotate on the left side put one of your gates on this door and another one on cafe outside door and last gate is gonna be on the connector one so in case they want to push back side they have to first get rid of this or go through it now the good thing about this strat is that you can just like challenge people outside cafe you have these angles right here then if someone's on the left side and even if they get rid of the gate so you can just like hold them waste time and then again activate the gate whenever you have to now let's say they push all the way into cafe they get close to the door you have this rotate so you can pick another angle you can surprise them or swing you want to place one of your barbed wires on the window so in case they jump in they just get stuck there and your second barbed wire is going to be on the yellow stairs for skyscraper we have a frost strategy you want to bring your shield and put it down right here on shrine then you have a pixel angle into house stairs then you make some holes on top of this wall so you can see anyone going into balcony you want to reinforce this wall single wall right here two walls on office and also this single wall to the balcony if they want to get into exhibition or office they have to uh, use the breach charges or ace charges and if they decide to jump in window they will get into frost trap if they want to push you from house stairs again you have this shield first they have to take care of it then these frost traps are really good on the stairs so when they are coming up and they have to deal with let's say this angle that you're holding they 
they just get into the frost trap. On Night Heaven, when you're defending downstairs, you want to play Legion, force all the hatches, and just place down your ghoul mines on the windows, on the doorways where they're gonna enter. You can come here, for example, on top floor. You can hold anyone pushing into storage. You can make this hole exactly right here in the servers, and you can hold anyone pushing into billiard from top floor again. And if they want to come top floor and haunt you down, they're just gonna waste time. And if they decide to stay downstairs and try to open the hatches, you can just put a lot of pressure on them. Alright, moving on to canal, you want to play a zombie and you want to reinforce as much as you can because it takes time for your Cuba barriers to load. But the first one, you want to throw it right here on the green stairs. Then you have cover from anyone jumping green window or red window. And you can also pick left side, right side, and you have cover from bottom of green stairs. Then you want to throw one of your Cubas right here. Then you want to throw a second one exactly on the same spot, kind of like right here. So it blocks the angle. To the sky bridge now you have a one-way angle anyone wants to push in as an attacker i can't really see you right here but you can see my feet and lastly you want to throw it one of them on the bomb you make some pick holes like this you can pick the breach and this one is really up to you but blocking the window is actually really helpful because a lot of times there's some like collie or glass or someone baiting outside just holding an angle so if you're worried about this you can destroy your kiba right here and make them use utility 